I'd like to talk to you today about the, uh, the size of government and the role of government. Uh, obviously, Milton had very strong views on that. One of the main themes uh, of his work and his, his policy work in particular was that the market was better than government at handling most aspects of the economy. As such, he favored a limited role of government. He was always fearful that government would grow to take on tasks for which it was not well suited. Uh, thus, his view was that in order to have a well-functioning government, it was important to make sure that government was kept small, which meant limited expenditures, and in order to have limited expenditures, limited tax revenue, and the two were connected. The United States debt-to-GDP ratio at the end of this year will be about 70%. I'm, I'm using what we call the public debt rather than the national debt. The public debt is the debt held by the public, and it's rising at a rate of, you know, 8, 9, 10 percentage points per year. And the reason for that is that our deficit uh, has been very high. And if you look at this as compared with other countries, uh, we're, we're kind of at the top of the list there. So um, uh, that's not an honor that you want to have. I think if Milton looked at these numbers right now, he would be concerned. How about uh, government intervention in the markets? Well, you know, Milton had strong views on this. He was not a big proponent of industrial policy, uh, certainly would not be an advocate of the government going in and picking certain industries, as we've seen um, happen, you know, throughout the years, but more recently uh, uh, with respect to green jobs and so forth. He would not have, have been in favor of that. Uh, bailouts were not one of his favorite ways to go, as I'm sure you're, you're well aware. And then on the regulation front, uh, again, he was not an anarchist. He did not believe in, an in a government without regulation, but he, ve he believed in a government that had cautious regulation. Uh, probably would not have been in favor of Dodd-Frank. Dodd he felt that uh, the problem was that regulation could often do more harm than it did good. And one thing I knew about Milton is that he was always an optimist. And uh, although he was very quick to point out what people were doing wrong, including his colleagues, uh, he would, he, I think, fundamentally believed that in the long run things would work out. And I think that's primarily because he believed in the effectiveness of the market to discipline government.